Only eat honey for an entire day? This should be sweet, so challenge accepted. Now, first I was just going to drink honey for the entire day, but then I thought I should be more creative. So I found a really messy honeycomb ice cream, a piece of honey pie, and fried chicken that is cooked in 100% honey sauce. To reward myself for completing this challenge, I went to this adorable rooftop bar and got myself this honey bear cocktail. And it had me feeling buzzed. Only eat jiggly foods for an entire day? This has to be my strangest request yet, but as always, Challenge accepted. Now to begin this interesting day of eating, I decided to make myself the world's largest jiggly smoothie bowl for breakfast. For lunch, I kept the wiggles going with these adorable little rabbit bungee jellies. I wasn't quite sure what to have for dinner, and then I decided to treat myself to a big jiggly flan. I may not be able to twerk, but that's okay because after today, my stomach is jiggling. Only eat seafood for the entire day? I'm ready to dive in, so challenge accepted. To begin this challenge, I was going to try to eat at the celebrity hotspot Nobu Malibu. But since I'm not a Kardashian, I couldn't get a reservation, so I ended up postmating myself a fish fillet from the McDonald's across the street. I then tried my first ever lobster roll at Cousin's Main Lobster, and it was one of the best meals of my entire life. Finally, to end the day, I decided to get my hands nice and dirty with this huge crab feast. I realized this challenge wasn't that hard, though, because I'm always on a seafood diet. When I see food, I eat it. Only eat barbecue foods for an entire day. This has been very requested, so challenge accepted. Now, I didn't really know what to have for breakfast, so I decided to go with barbecue wings and buffalo fries. For lunch, I had a delicious barbecue chicken pizza and found this very interesting barbecue wing soda. When it was time for dinner, I knew I needed to say holy cow, so I got myself the most insane spread of all things barbecue. I've never eaten so much meat, but I couldn't give up. The steaks were too high. Only eat in alphabetical order. I feel like this is going to be harder than anything I ever did in school, but... Challenge accepted. To begin this challenge, I had avocado on a bagel with a coffee and a donut that had an egg inside of it. I then had French toast, Gatorade, a hot dog, ice, and jello. I followed this with a Kit Kat, Lay's, milk, Nutella, and Oreos. I then had a potato quiche, Ritz, salmon, and tofu. I found upside down cake ice cream and then had a shot of vodka followed by water to congratulate myself for doing this. To finish the challenge, I had xanthan gum, yogurt, and ended the day with a baked ziti. And now I definitely know my ABCs. Only eat jumbo foods for an entire day? Challenge accepted. Now before I tell you about my insane jumbo dinner, let me walk you through the rest of my day. For breakfast, I had two plates of giant pancakes. For lunch, I had the world's largest gummy worm and chocolate chip cookie. To snack, I made table nachos. And to end the day, I had a 54-inch pizza. I also used a pizza to celebrate that we hit 4 million followers on here. But trust me, the amount of gratitude I have for you all is way bigger than any pizza I could ever eat. Only eat foods that rhyme. This should be a good time. Challenge accepted and not rejected. To begin this challenge, I had eggs and a chicken leg. I then had an enchilada, an empanada, and a tostada. To snack, I got an apple and a snapple, along with some Fritos, Cheetos, and Doritos. To finish the day, I had a steak, a shake, and a piece of cake. Now, I hope I don't make a mistake, but I think Dr. Seuss's job is at stake. Only eat scion-colored foods for a day? I'll be honest, I had no idea what this color was, so I looked it up and found out it looks like this. Now that I know, challenge accepted. So this scion or scene color was actually really hard to find, but I did my best with a smoothie and eggs for breakfast. I then had this little mini pizza that I know looked kind of blue, but let's just pretend it looked like this. You know what did look like that though was my dessert when I found these mermaid chocolate covered strawberries. Well, that's it for me. Sayonara. Only eat gas station food for an entire day. Challenge accepted. To begin this challenge, I thought, why not take a few years off my life and try the famous Sprite, Red Bull, Gatorade, Baby Bottle Pop, and Sour Patch Kid TikTok drink. I may have a headache for the next 30 years of my life after drinking it, but then I washed it down with some Cinnamon Toast Crunch and got myself quite the gas station meal. This meal made me realize I really don't like Takis at all. To wash away the pain of the Takis, I knew I needed something sweet, so I went to my favorite cookie shop that is located inside of a gas station. And now as I end the day, I realize this was less of a challenge and more of a reward. Only eat glittery foods for an entire day. I feel like this can't be good for my digestive system but challenge accepted to start this glittery day of eating i had sparkled donuts and unicorn toast for breakfast for lunch i really channeled my inner jojo siwa with this glitter pizza and glitter mac and cheese to finish the day i then had chocolate covered strawberries that were dipped in glitter and dressed up like unicorns well if all this glitter ruins my stomach at least i went out shining only eat expensive food for an entire day rest in peace to my wallet but challenge accepted. To begin this wallet crushing day, I found a smoothie that was $30, so I had it for breakfast. For lunch, I found a $56 toast that was covered in Wagyu and gold. For dinner, I had a 20 ounce bone in ribeye. And for dessert, I had something called the kitchen sink, which is 18 scoops of ice cream inside of a kitchen sink for $90. Sometimes I wonder how much money I would save if I just started doing TikTok dances instead. Only eat sour foods for an entire day. 
I think I'm more of a sweets guy, but challenge accepted. To begin this day of sour eating, I had pancakes with melted warheads on top of them for breakfast. For lunch, I let the pain continue with the bowl of sour chicken. I then had a very mature and adult dinner with this sour pasta. To end the day, I had a scoop of sour cherry ice cream along with some classic sour candy. While the food was sour, I was sweet, and now the challenge is gone. Only eat foods that start with the letter Z for an entire day. I have no idea how I'm gonna make this happen, but challenge accepted. Now, at first I thought I was just gonna spend the day eating zebra cakes, but then once I finished the first box, I started to feel really sick. So I knew I had to switch to zucchini, but I hate zucchini. Which meant I had to get creative. So I had zucchini french fries, zucchini pasta, and even zucchini chips. As a reward for all the zucchini, I then had something called a zeppoli, which was just fried dough and powdered sugar. Now my stomach needs a little break. It feels a little cray. Z. Today I turned 24, so in honor of my birthday, I'm gonna spend the day only eating edible versions of my face. If you're confused what that means, keep watching. To begin my day of selfie eating, I had a pancake that was in the shape of my face from Dan Cake. I was surprised how good I tasted, so I decided to keep the ball rolling with these funny face cookies. As if that wasn't outrageous enough, I then had my face on a latte and a painted portrait on a cookie. To end the day, I decided to throw us a birthday party as a thank you for watching my content over the last 10 months. I am forever grateful. Cheers to another year. Only eat heart-shaped foods for an entire day? Challenge accepted. To begin this lovely challenge, I had a heart-shaped latte and heart-shaped Pop-Tarts for breakfast. For lunch, I had this beating egg sandwich. And for dinner, I had a piece of my heart stolen when I found this epic heart-shaped pizza. For dessert, I got these delicious sugar cookies. And as I was leaving, I saw a billboard for Miley Cyrus' new album, Plastic Hearts. Which was ironic, because I think this album is the only reason my heart's still beating.